Hello, what a lovely day it is to do another speed paint. It's going to be about Frambo, which is an amazing game, and I'm going to tell you a little about it. So let's grab our drink and let's go sketching. Mm -hmm. So Frambo is an amazing horror game with the beautiful designs and art. And I'm going to show a couple of screenshots that I just took from the internet about the game. So you can kind of get the feel what kind of game it is if you have no idea what is it about. And trigger warning. There's going to be some gore on these screenshots that I'm going to show. So I'm going to put a timestamp on the screen where you can skip if you do not want to see the gore parts or the screenshots. But there's not going to be any gore in the speed paint that I'm doing, so you don't have to worry about that. But trick a warning and skip this part. I'm going to put some pictures on the screen now. There's a lot of skins in this game where you could totally do speed paints about. I haven't played it myself yet. But I'm, I'm really going to. <laughs> and I'm going to make another speed paint probably when I have actually played it myself. Because I just think it's really gorgeous. And there's a lot of scenes and memorable characters and stuff happening there that I think could make a really cool, cool speed paint. So I decided to do my version of this photo where Fran is stepping into the portal with her cat, Mr. Midnight. And I started to sketch in really small on the corner of the canvas uh, because I just think it helps me get a little bit looser when I don't have to like make it the real size that the illustration is going to be. I don't know, it just, it just helps me. And I'm not going to spoil anything about the game itself, but just so you know, the girl is Fran. She's the main character and she has a cat named Mr. Midnight. <laughs> Who would have guessed that it was that way around and not that the girl's name would have been Mr. Midnight. Okay. I really like Fran's outfit. I mean, I, I really just enjoy drawing girls wearing skirts. What can I say? But I also like her striped stockings or what are they called? Also, I just uh, cut my own hair again and I got myself bangs. Bangs. I got myself bangs again, so I cut my hairstyle is kind of like hers, but it doesn't really suit me as much as it suits her, <laughs> to be completely honest. Uh, I wanted to give the illustration a simple background to kind of keep the focus on a friend and the portal and Mr. Midnight. So I took some inspiration from the photo, that the original photo, and you can kind of see some flowers on the background, so I just decided to put them there. But I could have cropped the picture a little bit more from the bottom, I think. I, I think there should be loose air on the bottom there. I enjoyed making the stick square around the portal. I don't know why, but it was kind of therapeutic. And I struggled with Fran's legs a lot, as you might have noticed. I even did the line art. And then I skipped the canvas and I was like, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> And I just left them and like did other stuff before going back to like fix them. But because I just needed to like prepare myself for that, I was now ready to tangle with those legs again. But I think I made the legs look a little bit too curvy or something. Because she looks a bit older than she's supposed to. I really like how in the game she has like really sticky like limbs and she looks really young and so I lost that here I don't know I wish I would have like made the legs a little bit more bony is that the word? so after giving the illustration the basic colors I started playing around with the saturations as I do, and also making shadows with the layer mask system. Uh, I've been really practicing with the layer masks lately, and it's really, it makes the process so much quicker. It helps so much because the idea of it is just, you, you probably know this, but you know, I'm just rambling about that what you have already colored before, like the base color of the dress or whatever. And you select that and you make like a new layer 
and then you can like draw on top of it and you don't have to worry about drawing outside the lines because you've selected that that single area where you want to draw you know what i mean that's so cool and this piece took me like two hours but you know it, it was a lot quicker that way and i also like how i gave friends dress some like it, it's not just plain yellow blob it has some kind of texture to it and i think it really made her outfit look a lot more better after i had done that also, I wanted to give the background a little bit magical feel to it. Feel to it. So as I met the portal, I met the sparkles go outside the portal too on the background, and I guess it gives off a little bit of a vibe that you know Fran and Mr. Midnight are kind of like letting go of the world that they are, and they're kind of moving already into the next one because there's like you can't really see the real background i don't know if that makes any sense to you but it makes perfect sense to me so this is the final illustrations did i diddly doodly do <laughs> did you have fun i hope you had fun because i i did i've been spiraling into frambo lately and i appreciate you and i'll see you around bye bye